really pretty watercolors. I mean, I do have some pretty acrylics that are sitting right here that are brand new. Thank you, Deco Art. I mean, why not? And I mean, this is Gorge. So what are we thinking? While you're thinking. Uh, now what, what's the different, I'm looking for my, oh, here it is. She said, what? I take a chance. So I prep this page. Now, remember, I take my finger and I run it down the inside of this. Why do I do that? Because I like to feel the inside. All right. Um, this is going to be an acrylic piece, Barbara. Um, I need paint brushes. It's been a while since I've just sat down and painted. All right. And I'm going to take gesso. When you're working, if you're working in watercolors, just oh, how do you come up with your ideas? Thank you. I love the questions. Keep it going. Um, how do I come up? My, I, I don't know how to describe this. I wish a scientist, my son is like an engineer, so I should sit down and say, could you talk about this with me? Um, some people see math or English in colors. Does that make sense? But I see things like I literally can envision something. I mean, if I've got the flow of going, I can, I just envision things and I go for it. This is my art journal. It is really just a space to experiment. So once I do, I really primarily work between watercolors and acrylic. So I don't work in oils. You guys couldn't be here for the dry time. I'm doing a quick, quick free demo. Uh, I do have a group called uh, a paid membership called Your Artful Journey. And my members there get the deep dives. They get every lesson. I break it down. They get the materials. If you're a member of Your Artful Journey, will you stand? Please stand up. Please stand up. Um, let me know you're here. But I don't know how to describe it other than like sometimes I'm in bed at night and I have a notebook right next to my bed. I see things in colors and textures. Now, I can't remember what I had for dinner last night. And I think sometimes when people are speaking with me or like they're talking to me, they think um, maybe I am, for lack of a better word, I'm fun. Maybe ditty, but I just pack a lot in my brain. Look at all my people. Me, 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 me. Um, I don't think I'm ditty. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. So I just see things in like this massive color. And so sometimes I. I don't know how to describe it, but when paints show up, I mean, now obviously sometimes there's nothing in the well. Sometimes I see nothing. <laughs> and then I need to take a break. But when I see nothing, this is when I go to this. And I work in this smaller space, less real estate. It's my journey, you know. Maybe I test colors. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Listen, there. It's a gang. It's a gang. I got a gang of artists who follow me around. You guys are the best. We really do. It's a connection I can't describe. Anyway, why do I just so first when I'm working with acrylics? Because I want to prime the surface. Uh, envision when you're painting over a red wall and you got to paint. Uh, now this is white, but you need priming that surface you're going to get the most vivid paints also the paints are not going to uh, sink so much into <laughs> into the paper okay matthew text me yeah so that's the reason i'm just prepping and priming the surface if you're working in watercolors you don't do that, okay? You want the watercolors to seep into the paper. That's exactly right. I'm loving the questions. Keep them going. Uh, did I decide on a color or, or I, I'm going to go with my gut, all right? 
I need to keep all these. Uh, 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 uh. I gotta, I gotta, gotta not use my teeth because my mom watches the videos the next day. Uh, I'm looking for an exacto knife. You know my mom, my parents still watch my videos from day one. And you know my mom still reminds me about the clock. Well, that wasn't good. That was pain. My mom and dad remind me of the clock of my orthodontics. I'm 53 years old. Okay, sorry. I'm just going to stop up the paint that's on the... Oh, that's on me as well. I'm probably going to do that. Oh, sorry. I got it on me. Anyway, uh, my parents remind me of the cost of... I do have great parents. I need to get them online with me. I, I know that they will hesitate to do so. I moved my garbage can. Oh, I love all the tidbits you add. Well, you guys, some people like the tidbits. Some people don't like the tidbits. Hi, Kimberly Wood. Okay. Just going to open this. My dad was my first subscriber to my YouTube channel. My dad was, my dad, they're not on social media, but they watch, they watch. They, my mom loves YouTube. Hi, mama. Anyway, they still remind me of the cost of my orthodontics. And probably back then, I need to tell them they didn't spend that much, but they probably did. All right. So were we feeling more the lilacs or... Or one big flower that's three-dimensional. I think I'm going to go one big flower that's three-dimensional. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. All right. And I can probably use just the new colors. So don't get locked in with the colors that I'm using. Obviously, if you want to buy it from Decor, and I got a discount code for you. But, um, so you can save money. I like that. But... I would like you to just kind of find some matching colors. Just use what you have. Do this in watercolors. You don't have, these are brand new. I know they're for sale because I wouldn't use something. They don't really send me stuff unless it's for sale. All right. Okay. Let's all just. Now I know I'm feeling this. I know I'm feeling this. I think it's going to be hard for me to feel this, but we'll try it. I definitely know I'm feeling this and this. So you just love colors or you don't love colors. That's how it goes. Okay. Uh, I can use that same. I'm going to um, grab a towel. And then let's, oh, I'm going to start my video. I'm going to turn this on. Sorry for that. Today I was a little, today I'm a little slow. Okay. Nope. Okay. Not slow-mo. Oh my God. If I did this in slow-mo, I'd shoot myself. Okay. I do a little time lapse while I'm videoing. Oh, y'all are saying hi to my mother. That's sweet. My dad, I believe, watches it too, but I don't think he has the patience, patience for YouTube. All right, so are we still thinking big three-dimensional flower, or are we? Yeah, we yeah. are. I just decided. Do, 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 do. Now I'm debating on the background. I'm just going to use the same brush because it's got white in it. Who cares? All right. Oh, palette. All right, so I'm gonna, I'll, I'll yell out. I won't yell. I will just talk out the colors I'm using. I, I'm i going to use this uh, baby duck. <laughs> There's a high probability that I'm going to, why would this be called baby duck? Oh, the color, a baby chick. I call it baby chick. Um, try to take a word. It looks like a banana color that I used to use long ago. I'm just going to give a faint little zhuzh in the back. Just a little zhuzhing, okay? Not too much, not too little. And then I'm going to go with this cherry merlot. 
So I try to name the colors as I'm a painting. Doesn't mean you, oh, it's a very beautiful color. It is a very beautiful color. If you're using watercolors, just go for it. You can water your acrylic and use it. Good evening, Joanne. Now, if things get a little bit too dark, or, you know, you don't, I'm going to take a little bit of this gesso. You can use white paint. Okay, just a little bit. I dumped that. I'm just going to use that to blend things in. Okay. I really changed my mind because I think I was thinking the flower was going to, that's okay. I mean, what are you going to do? I made a, I think I was thinking the flower was going to be more of the colors that I'm using right now, I just literally went backwards. That's all right. I guess I just need to do it another way. So you can either use white paint just to mix in. I'm just using gesso. I'm using, uh, I would describe this color as Merlot. It's so very pretty, but I'm just mixing a little bit of the gesso and back into it. And I'm just going to. That's too much. I don't need that much. I'm half between making this very bold or just scaling it back. And you'll notice I will go back and forth with it. Yeah, I like both colors too. I was thinking that was going to be my flower color. So now I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to roll with it and see what happens. Um, somebody last week said, um, I do give a complete supply list when I'm done. So um, that goes under my free tutorials on my website, but somebody um, said to me that I get this a lot. It would be nice if I had a supply list before we get started uh, for the free demo. Well, this is free. And um, if I had to do this every week and come up with a supply list in the amount of administrative work that would take to prep you um, for tonight, that takes the spontaneity out of it as well. Um, that's just the way it goes. Uh, your Artful Journey, they get supply lists. They know exactly what they're going to be working on. We use Wednesdays as our practice night, and they share in the group what they've created. So I particularly love that. I'm just going in now and just adding the rest of whatever paint I have. Make the background where you're happy with it. Okay, this is kind of, for me, um, the opportunity to kind of just make a fun background. All right, I love the colors too. So again, these are new. These are brand new from Deco Art, Baby Duck and Cherry Merlot. I got them on Friday. Heat gun makes everything dry quickly. Now I am rethinking the color. I just really wanted this teal, but now oh, sometimes I just do things backwards. And then I discover that it was meant to be backwards. Very dry. Also, pretty much when you complain in the, I put your complaints in the complaint department. Oh, I wish I had some scrap paper here. Yeah, hold on, I do. Um, hold on, thinking, thinking. 
This can be any, oh. <laughs> I'm not even gonna begin to tell you what that means. All right, put that aside. Did we discover, did we decide what colors? Oh, God. I mean, now it's kind of craziness. Oh, but let's just try to mix a couple of colors and then we'll just run with it. This is just a spare piece of paper. I haven't fully decided what I'm doing with it. I'm not going to even gesso it. I'm just going to put it on. I mean, I would ideally I would gesso this. So why don't we just use, I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. We'll just use the gesso. <laughs> I'll do this all with one big brush. Don't worry. There we go. Gesso. Okay. Spare piece of paper. It can be mixed media, watercolor paper. I just went with something that I had that was in a pad of paper. And then I'm going to cut these out. I really wanted to. Can I do this? Hold on, let me think this through. Can I do this? Or would it be easier to cut the petals out? Okay, I think it would be easier to cut the petals out. Okay, all of this is going to be fine. You know, I come up with ideas and then I don't know where they're going to go. So, just trust me on this. I could even fold this in half. Can I fold this in half? Sure, I can. Yeah. Beverly, are you worried about buying this album yet? Because I'm a little worried for you. I have the song, Here Comes the Sun, because I heard it on Monday. Uh, they did songs about weather, and now it's all I have in my head. She's like the wind in a dream. <laughs> okay. What am I making? I'm making flower. I know it doesn't look like that, but it's me. It went up and down. Look, you wouldn't even, you don't even need to really, oh, look at that. I didn't even need to cut them in half. I did though. You, you didn't even need to cut them in half. They, they could go on there like that. Oh, y'all like the 3D thing. Okay. I like 3D too. Plus I'm not going anywhere tonight. So let's just have fun. Oops. It's supposed to be a little bit like that. All right. Just a watercolor piece of paper. You got, I moved my trash can today, and the one day I moved my trash can, and now I need it. How annoying is that? Okay. Those were meant to be a little bit more bulbousy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can use five of these or six of these, don't matter. All right. When is your Artful Journey membership opening up again? Uh, you can send an email to support at your artfuljourney.com. Now that question just came through on YouTube. By the way, I'm live on YouTube as well. All right. So let's just make sure I have the side that is just, yeah, it is. Okay. We're going to make some pretty, pretty flowers. Trust me on this. I am going to go with this mystic teal. Why? Because I can't. I was the other option was this. Oh, but I don't know. Okay. Beverly, you have two choices here. Um, because you're going to buy this. Would you like the tea berry and the salted caramel working together? Or would you like the um, mystic teal? And I'll make it look good. I'll wait, Beverly. There's probably going to be a button involved. I am. I just. I'm letting Beverly answer said question. She gets to pick. I can 
work in these two colors. Because I know, I, I, I know how to make this look pretty. It's not my favorite, like, this is her. Oh, she said teal. God bless you, girl. Okay, she knew exactly. Yeah, I, I like this salted caramel. It's going to go in here. I actually think I'm going to do these together. I know. Thank you, Beverly. Did anybody think for a second that I was only asking Beverly because she bought it? So I know a couple of you are going to answer, but I I will make this work. So don't put it over wet paint. Put this over here. Uh, teal for the background. I've already done the background. Okay. And I just kind of keep mixing the, uh, I, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with what I think. Okay. These are petals. Okay. Just beautiful petals. What am I doing? I'm covering them in gesso first. Well, now I've got the paint mixed in. I'm taking that salted caramel and I'm, I'm just running it up the end. The, uh, and if you got to wipe off between, you can do that. Okay. So just wet those bad boys up. Oops. Oh, I got some yellow in there. That's okay. I'll end up using all the paint because I don't really mix. I don't mess. I don't really waste a lot of stuff. Okay, ready? We're just going to glide the um, salted caramel. That's the name of the color I'm using. It's kind of like an okra. If you're using watercolors, a nice little okra. I'm, using, I'm actually using watercolor paper. So kind of fanned that in. I mean, I wish some of my flower petals were a little bit more rounder and bulbousy looking, but I didn't do that. So, all right, I'm gonna rinse off my brush like this. Uh, I get these towels from Costco. And um, I just love to use them. as uh, my paint towels and my wipe off towels. And I just wash them, I throw them in the uh, washing machine. Okay, so well, I'm just using this gigantic flat brush. I'm not a paint, I'm not a brush now, but I'm a dynasty brush now. Just giving them a nice little zhuzh. Be a miracle if I found a, a, a what do you call it? Like a button that uh, matched. I, I plan on being done at 6.30, but I obviously bit off a, a very three-dimensional, whoops, um, project tonight. Because why wouldn't you, you know, why wouldn't you just throw it all out there? Whoops. You just keep mixing up these colors. Yep, there goes my nails. Oop, what are you? What are you on there? Get off there. Get off there, you scrap piece of paper, you. Okay. Just just make these petals just throw up with fun, okay? What do you think? 
you can decide how dark they are. Okay. Huh. Now dry those off really quick. It shouldn't take long. Anybody new listening tonight that has never joined me and maybe this is a new experience watching, uh, watching, I, I, A, I'd like to welcome you and B, I, uh, I would, <laughs> Roxanne, Roxanne, I mean, I would like to, me, Shelly, welcome. Please don't be afraid. Just have fun. I encourage everybody to paint with me. Uh, it was so cute. I did. Um, I did meet Julie. Uh, I, Julie and I started talking about paints and whatnot. And I said, "Oh, join me on Wednesday night." And this Wednesday, this Monday, she checked in and said, "Oh, look at this! Look at this! I painted this! I painted this!" It was so fantastic. It's just. When you add more paint to your palette, does it bring up the dry paint to life again? No. It does not. That I know of. Because it's, I only use acrylics on that, so it's not, it's water-based, but acrylics dry. All right. Yeah, I'm loving the caramel with the tea, the teal. <laughs> I'm loving the caramel with some tea. I was feeling really tired and now I'm uplifted. Okay, one thing I'm gonna do, you can do this with black, but I actually have like a teal, it's called Mermaid Lagoon. And I think this, yeah, this will look fine. I'm just gonna distress all the edges. You could take some, like a dried paintbrush with some paint, you know, a little darker paint. And I, but I, this, no, oh, whoops. This, uh, these little, what do you call it? Ranger archival inks. I use them all the time. I just have a set of them. Works fantastic. Oops. Well, they don't work great when you're, there we go. I usually switch off between acrylics, you know, and watercolors. The last week we did watercolors. Uh, we're going to have to name this painting, by the way. And it can't be like last week it was Barbara's Blossom because I couldn't think of a name and nobody shot a name out to us. But I usually name all my paintings, or you guys normally name all my paintings. Okay. Um, and then I was going to take the middle, just, but let's just, let's see how big this flower ends up being. Cause I didn't even measure that out. Oh, that's right. Gorgeous. If I need to snip, I'll just snip from the ends, but in essence, this flower, oh, this is gigantor. I'm only going to do five petals. I think I will do six. I have six, but I think this is just going to boogly boo up. So I, and I got to remember where the, I can go off the edge. I don't need to worry about that, but I did not. Okay. That's going to work out good for me. Yeah. Let's help Tracy and name the painting. Let's just give it all a haircut. Are you ready? You just give the petals a haircut. That's all you need to do. I didn't really measure that out. It's okay. I think sometimes, um, People get caught up in the exact measurements, but this is your art journal. Like this is your safe space. Have fun. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That just little haircut made a world of difference. And actually I wanted more bulbousy short petals. So one, two, three, four, let's go five. It's my favorite number and it makes me happy. If it makes you happy. 
do it over and over again. I need one more little piece of paper. Why? Because I do. Where is my piece of paper? Here it is. Okay, I just tore it. Da, 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 da. Okay. And then I'm just going to tear it. I'm going to go like this. I didn't even measure this either. Don't worry, though. Okay. Come on. Okay. You know what I still have more paint of? Still have more of that yellow. So let's just do that yellow in here. With I almost did this whole painting in one paintbrush, like one giant flat paintbrush. Okay. Why am I doing it like this? And my fingers are dirty and we're zhuzhing it up because I can. Oh, yeah. There's the middle. I could have done that caramel color in the middle, too. So let's just take our finger and go around the edge with the caramel. Hope you don't mind, Barbara. It's turning into a finger paint set. Okay. And let's just go over the edges. See? Oh, she gorgeous. Yes. And let's go underneath because we might see some of that. Okay. Now, she's a flower. Let her bloom. Let her fly. Okay. I'm just going to start gluing stuff down because you know what's going to happen if I don't glue it down? I'm going to change my mind. And I don't want to do that today because it's 620. All right, I am going to um, distress up the it well, before I glue this down. I'm going to take that all off. You know why? So I'm going to take, I'm just going to take this. So look at this, I ended up dusty concord. I could do it with my fingers and take like a Prussian blue around the edge, but I can do this ink a lot faster. With my ink, oh. sorry, I have stuff in bins everywhere. I'm just gonna go around. I gotta find the edge because when I take this down, I might not be able to find the edge again. Okay, but I just want to be able to know where the edge is. And guess what? Oh yeah, we're leaning into the fact. I was even thinking black. Go with it, Tracy. Just feel it. Okay, a little bit of black. Oh, yeah. The good news is about this archival ink, when you put it on certain colors, it actually doesn't go real black. It actually looks more um, like a light blue or a Prussian. Prussian blue would be really pretty. Okay. I told you this background would come to life. Let it go. Okay. I just, all of these supplies will be listed. I got to sit down and take a load off while I glue this down. Okay. Who's still with me? I usually am done at 6.30, but today I have to. I'm using a zip dry adhesive. You know why? Because it dries zippy fast. And I don't have time for shenanigans today. I don't have time to wait. Okay. I feel like this guy is still awfully big. So she gets a haircut. You get a haircut. You get a haircut. Okay. And you get a haircut. That's not even dry. But we'll put it down there. All right. Flower looks like a flower. What do you think? And then some will be in the front, some will be in the back. Now just glue it down. Glue it down. Let's not waste any more time discussing this. I do want this to be off that one. Let's start with this one. Oh, I hope you're not blocked. Okay. This is why my hands are covered in paint all the time. 
And I'm not going to glue the end of the petal down until I get the tape pulled up. Because guess what's going to happen? <laughs> just thought of that. I just thought of that. There's the tape right there. Well, don't glue. Don't don't glue to the tape, please. Please. Okay. I don't mind if you glue everything else down. Just don't glue to the tape. Okay. Zippy and here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't go to the edge. Maybe I should just pull the tape off now, huh? It's okay. You realize you could curl up all these edges. I mean, this is actually going to go in the mail to somebody, so she might flatten out a little bit. Okay. How are we doing, Barbara? You still want to buy it? <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. You're so pretty. Do, 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 do. I'm so happy to be like staying home and hanging out tonight. All right. I really thought that this was going to go. See, you have a little time to move stuff around. I just want to make sure, whoops. I want to make sure it doesn't stick to the tape. Don't worry, Barbara, this will all be sealed too. Um, I just got to make sure that that don't stick to the, there we go. All right. She wants it. No, no buyback, she says. Now. What am I going to do? How am I going to zhuzh this bad boy up? I got to make sure at least some of the petals stay down. Oh, I need some paint. Okay, nope. Carbon black. I have four minutes to add the details, but you know me. I am going to, uh, bum, bum, bum. I need to make sure I do this in order so that I'm going to find a liner brush, okay? And then I'm going to do this and this and this and this and this, okay? I don't know if I'm going to have the patience for this, but I'm going to try. Please don't stick to me. Now, if you guys don't want to tune in for this, this is the back of my drip. This is the back of my paintbrush. A light little tapping. Okay, these are going to, the little tape ends are bugging me. Now, that's going to, particularly take a long time to dry so you don't want to go back over these bad boys okay oh i mean legit i kind of went a little nutty didn't i i just had to make sure these are stuck down i mean i don't want to start doing a bunch. Uh oh are you not stuck down hold on time out emergency we need some more glue in aisle four we need more glue stacked i don't know why i didn't go right to the tip of this one okay sticky please now i'm going to try and not do what i normally do and that's lick the top of this paintbrush and end up with a bunch of paint in my mouth so let's hold on I, I I should have made sure that these were stuck down there we go please stick please stick 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 okay. and carry on 
I will try to do this as quickly as possible. Because if somebody's tuning in, this would be incredibly like, oh, this lady is just making me watch paint dry. Oh. Well, I'll be darned, that looks mighty pretty. when I use a white a wet or a palette like this that's already used I start dipping into paint that's already dried oh hello hello there it's been a while not much how about you I'm not sure I debated on doing a uh, St. Patrick's Day project, and this feels a little better to me. Okay. All right, now I gotta be really careful. You know why I gotta be really careful? Because Those that are going to come right up, and they take a while to dry. And I'm going to add a little bit of texture or something in the background. What can I use? What can I use? What can I use? Hold on. What do I got left? Okay, hold on. This is the lid to my paint. Ooh, it's coming down pretty bad right now. Just a little bit of texture back here. Okay. No. Look at that. I end up lifting that up, tearing it down, taking it back. Okay. Oh, what am I going to wipe off that lid with? Okay. And now I really want to splatter some white paint, a little bit of white paint. Do I have any white paint? Yeah, I must have some white paint. Really want to more so not splatter it. I want to water it down to you yeah, here. I want, come on, do you want, is it, oh, there. I want a fan brush, fan brush, okay. Fan brush, fan brush, water it down. I'm just going to tap, 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 Oh, I really don't want it on the flower, but I can't do anything about that. There we go. That's fine. Just mush it. There we go. Yeah. Okay. If you got it on the flower, don't worry. Okay, I need a nice giant button. Uh, looking, looking, looking. I don't know what color. Like, just something. Oh, look. Not brown. Not pink. No, 
Um, no, not feeling it. I'm almost done. Oh, oh, oh. This could just be. Ooh, hold on. I tip of this. I mean, it's always fun when you want the button from the bottom or the middle. Oh, come on, you son of a. Move it. There we go. Don't, don't drop all the other. I just had to have the button right from the smack dab from the middle of the container. I can go smaller, but look at how pretty. Oh, I think big. I think big and buttoning. Barbara, do you mind that this is three dimensional? Your lid's going to stick up a little bit. Or, but are you okay with that? I can go smaller if you prefer. I just happen to have one that matches. Are you okay? You, Barbara, big or little? Girl. <laughs> okay, I think she means big. I love it, big. I can do the little one if you don't want it to be so three-dimensional. A lot of people take the artwork out, but she loves it. Yes, big, okay. I, I think that's too little. Okay, she loves it. Oh my God, now I have to fit back all 500 other buttons. Big, she says, what big are going on? All right, what time is it? Oh, 6.35, she's not that late. Okay, now uh, looking for glue. She says big, I like a woman who can make those decisions right on the spot. So throw that down. I mean, could I have matched that color any better? Did anybody know that that was going to happen? If you saw my button collection, you probably will guess that could have happened. All right. I, I, have, I have a trash. Where is the lid to my black paint? Because I feel like that's a mistake waiting to happen, too. Oh, well, I think I dropped it. <sighs> I'm like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I just can't. I can't stop myself. I can't. I don't even know where the edge of the... What is this? A room key. From this weekend. I just... I always snake my room keys. Uh, my mother always thinks I'm going to be charged for them. Never happened. Look at all this. There's yellow left. Okay. Now I'm just getting silly. There was yellow left. Might as well just use up that yellow too, huh? I'm feeling mellow. I really like that yellow. Okay, done. Oh, I found the lid to my black paint. I think I'm done. Everybody, I better be done because otherwise y'all are gonna. Okay. Now let's try to get this tape off without pulling every one of these petals up. So I'm gonna just try and sneak, oh yeah. I think I love it. I, come on. Come on. Come on. I'm heating that tape up. Beverly says, I think I love it. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. She doesn't really love it. Oh. Maybe. I'm just going to, oh, now I'm sticking to all the other colors. So this was all with the new deco art paints and look at that looky loo it came off like jam okay there's a song a country song i can't remember who th sings it i want to say it's old dominion and this is about the woman keeping the room key i think i've i uh i think i've done that forever oops now barbara would you like me to sign my artwork for you Guys, I love how it's live. Man, I need to eat some dinner. 
Oh, this pen has got to be tossed. Hold on, I'll spell my name right in a second. I just gotta find a pen that is gonna work here. Okay. Yikes, it's coming down. Barbara, that was so fun to paint for you. Thank you.